Hi, I'm Dr. Vic Mayo, Assistant Superintendent for Hazel Park Schools. I'd like to welcome you to Hazel's Heroes for December. We have students from Roosevelt and Edison School, and our first student is Sandy Isho from Roosevelt. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Tell us about yourself. Um, I go to Roosevelt School, and my teacher is Mrs. Scochillas, and I, my favorite subject in school is math. Can you tell us how, why you were chosen to be Hazel's Hero for this month? I think that I was chosen for Hazel Hero is because I do my responsibility and I help others and I get good grades. That's great. Our next student from also Roosevelt is Stephen Parrish. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Tell us about yourself. I'm from Roosevelt. My, I'm in fifth grade. My teacher is Miss Blazinski. And my favorite subject in school is art. Tell us about why you were chosen as a Hazel's Hero. Hero because I get good grades, I help people, I I have a post on the catwalk right in front of my school, I'm student council and I'm in choir. Is that a pretty tough job, being uh, on the catwalk like that? No, not really. How about today with all the ice and snow that we had? It's still not really that hard. Well, good job. Our next student is from Longfellow School, and we have Sophia Elias. Is that correct? Elias. Elias. Okay. I want to say like Elias Brothers, big boys, but it, El Elias. Uh, Sophia, tell us about yourself. I go to Edison School, Edison. and my teacher is Mrs. Wilson, and my favorite subject is math. And I'm sorry, you go to Edison School. Uh, Mrs. Wilson, she does a lot of interesting uh, activities, doesn't she? Can you tell us some of the things that you've done this year? Um, we've made and we've done a lot of stuff, but I can't remember. <laughs> okay, also, uh, why were you chosen to be Hazel's Heroes this month? Um, I, get, I get good grades, and, I've, and I do 100% in my work, and I'm service squad and I respect others. A lot of good reasons there. Another student from Edison we have is Char Fuchs. Hi, Char. Hi. Tell us about yourself. I'm from Edison School, and my favorite subjects are art and gem, and um, my teacher is Miss Wilson. And are you both in the same class? Yeah. Okay, tell us about some of those heroes, and tell us what you've done a little bit different from uh, your fellow student there. I like play with everybody in my class, even if like nobody else really likes them. Well, that's really nice. Well, it's nice having the students from Roosevelt and Edison School. We'll be right back. We have Hazel's Heroes from Ford and from Hoover School. And our first student Hazel's hero is Allison McGrath. Hi, Allison. Hi. Can you tell us about yourself? Yeah, I'm from Ford School. I, um, my teacher is Mrs. Fessert. The thing, the subjects I like most is reading and doing math. Are you in third grade? Yes. Okay, can you tell me um, some of the different things that you have because you're in that uh, small size class situation over at uh, Ford School. What do you like about that? Um, it's kind of fun because there's not like that much people. Okay, you only have what, about 100 students in that class? No. How many? 17. Well, that's nice. And uh, what do you like about uh, the most about Mrs. Bessert's class? Um, because she does exciting things with us, and she lets us play with lots of fun stuff. What do you like most about Ford School? Mm. A lot of fun people over there? Yeah. Good. What is a Hazel's hero? Because I, I get good grades. I, um, I'm helpful. And I help other people, and um, I do very good in school. I get 100% on my, on my math t 
test is and my spelling test is. Very good for you. Well, you keep up the good work, okay, Allison? Okay, our next student is Danny Hedrick. Is that correct, Danny? And you're from Hoover School. Tell us about yourself. Um, my teacher is Mrs. Allen, and my favorite subject is gym and music and art. You're, you have also, I understand that uh, one of your favorite uh, things to do is lunch, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, that's one of mine too. I have to cut down on what I eat for lunch, but uh, what, what? Um, my food and my... Make them yourself or do you buy the, buy the uh, school lunches? My mom makes them. Sounds good to me. And why do you think you were chosen as a Hazel's hero? Um, I don't know. Well, you must be a very modest person if you don't know why. Yeah, it's, it, what I understand is you do a lot of good things uh, at who owns class that you uh, enjoy that. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Keep up the good work. We have over here is Nicole Ham. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm in sixth grade. My teacher's name is Miss Conlon. Um, my favorite subjects are math and um, science and gym with Mr. Hennig. Nice. Mr. Hennigan? Yes. Tell us uh, why you would be chosen as a Hazel's Hero. Well, my service club host is in the office, and they nominated me because I'm on time, and I do the work I'm given, and I respect and I, other people, and I get good grades in school. Very good. I count out papers and put them in the teacher's mailboxes. I give back the attendance and put them in the teacher's mailboxes, and I just help them out with anything else that they have for me. They must depend a lot on you. Yeah. Wow. What do you kids think about this weather? What did, now, I want to know, what did everybody do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Played in the snow. How long did you play? All day. All day? How about you? What did you do yesterday? Um, threw snowball, had a snowball fight with my brother. Now, you're not supposed to throw snowballs during school time, is that correct? It was yesterday because I had a snow day. That's right. That's, 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 that's right. You're not supposed to throw school <laughs> snow when school's in session, but when school's out of session, you can do pretty much what you want to do. Is that what you did, too? Uh, I, played, um, I played with my friends outside all day. Well, you must have had a great time. Well, again, uh, I'm from Ford and Hoover Schools. And keep up the good work. We are pleased to have we are pleased to have Hazel's Heroes from Webster and United Oaks, and we have with us Dennis Lowe and Marcus Locke. Dennis, how are you doing today? Good. From Wes Webster, uh, my teacher is Miss Sutton. My assistant teacher is Miss Merce. My favorite subjects are social studies and art. What grade are you in? Fifth. So how's it going for you this year so far? So far it's gone well. And can you tell us why you think that you were chosen to be a Hazel's Hero this month? I get good grades. I am in student council. I'm a conflict manager and I am willing to help others. I think that's the most important for a Hazel's Hero uh, is to help others. Tell me about this um, conflict manager. Uh, what do you do for that? You go around outside and you work, and if a person is fighting a, like with words, you help them uh, settle it out. But if they're like fighting, punching, you can't do it. You have to go get an aid. Do, you, do people usually come to you uh, if they're having words with each other, or do you see it yourself? You usually see it yourself. Can you help me out if I need you? If I, if I need you to solve a conflict, I just give you a call? Yeah. Okay. Now, don't worry. I'm going to depend on you with that now. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now we have Marcus Locke. Marcus, you're from United Oaks. Yeah. And you've been nominated for this by Mr. Ryder. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Um, I go to United Oaks School, and uh, my teacher is, or my safety supervisor supervisor is Mr. Ryder, and my favorite subjects are math and reading, and I like playing with my friends and Nintendo. 
You know, I was um, at your school today because of the bad weather. We had a snow day yesterday, and this morning we went around looking at the various buildings to make sure that the sidewalks were, were clear. And I saw Mr. Ryder on the corner uh, checking with the safeties. Um, is he pretty good supervisor with the safeties? Yeah. Does he give you hot chocolate once in a while, I hope? Yeah. Okay, because if he doesn't, you let me know because I'm sure you're cold out there. Okay. What time do you start your post? And where where is your post at? Uh, my post is at uh, Jarv East Jarvis and... Uh, Jarvis and Russell? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a tough day today. Uh, what time do you go on your post this afternoon because of the uh, bad weather situations? Uh, uh, what time do you go on your post? We go on our post at 2.55, and we uh, cross people who are coming out from PPI. Do people really listen to you on when you're on your post? Yeah. Why do you think you were chosen as a Hazel's Hero by uh, Mr. Ryder? Because I take pride in being a safety patrol member, and I'm there no matter what the weather is. That's great. Again, we're pleased to have Hazel's Heroes from Webster and United Oaks. We are pleased to have Hazel's Heroes from both Longfellow and Clark School. We have with us Jennifer Bida, mm -hmm. and we have Brandon Horsfall. How are you two doing? Fine. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, tell us about yourself. Uh, you go to Clark School. I go to Longfellow. I'm sorry. Why do I? Oh, you go to Clark. Or do you go to Longfellow? You go to, oh, okay. I go to Longfellow. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Um, I go to Longfellow. I'm in fifth grade. My favorite subjects are reading and, um, and math. I like... Um, Um, Are there some subjects that you like the most? Yeah, and I like art the most, and I like reading. Do you have, and, and there's a lot of things that you do. Obviously, you've done some good things for other people because that's why you were chosen as a Hazel's Hero. Can you tell us what they are? My friend, she got her bike stolen, TA, and I decided to give it to her. Oh, that was nice. What did she, what did she think about that? Um, she said it was nice. Was it a surprise? Did you just bring it over to her, or...? Um, I didn't actually pick it out for her. I, um, I gave her a card because I didn't want to get it for her so, so she could pick out. It's really thinking of other people. Are you going to be doing anything like that for the uh, holiday season? Because that's really nice to do things for people like that. Probably, yes. What, can you, are you have any ideas what you're going to do? Um, I could probably, um, go caroling at the senior citizen's home and do stuff like that. Well, that's nice to hear. Uh, anything else that uh, that you've done uh, recently for to help people out? Um, I bring cans for the canned food drive at my school, mm -hmm. and I helped out, and I did pretty much. Why you like Clark School so much and your teacher? And Longfellow. I'm sorry. Why do I want to keep saying Clark? Uh, I'll get to you next. Uh, why do you like Longfellow so much? I was just at Longfellow this morning, by the way. It was exciting, and I haven't been to a, um, a public school before. So how do you like it this year? It's okay. Good. Good. Different. Good. Yeah. And your teacher again is? Mr. Hill. Good. Has he done his rocket? Um, yes. How did you like that? Um, it's coming up, and it's okay. Good. Well, you have a good year, and uh, thanks again for the work you're doing. Okay, our next person is Brandon Horsfall, and you are from Clark School. Tell us about yourself. I like to uh, help the students in class. And who is your teacher? Miss Monagle. Who is this again? Miss Monagle. Okay, and uh, what grade you're in? Six. So tell us some of the things that you've done. Um, my favorite subject is gym, art, and music. Okay, and um, what are some of the things, why do you think that you were chosen as a Hazel's Hero? Because I help the other students in class. Can you tell us what kind of things that you've done? Help them in math and reading.
Good. Can you help me out if I need help in math and reading? Yes. Just give you a call? No. <laughs> Why, do you charge for helping? No. Oh, okay. Well, I think I might need your help. After this program, I'm going to see what you can do, okay? Help me upstairs, okay? No? Okay. <laughs> well, again, we're uh, pleased to have two students from Longfellow and Clark. Uh, we want to wish uh, Jennifer and, and Brandon the best of luck. And I uh, hope we have more students uh, that are Hazel's heroes from both these schools. I'd like to welcome Mr. Jim Anker, Superintendent of Schools. Pleasure. And we have certificates and uh, shirts to give to these fine students. Our first student from Ford School, Allison McGrath. There you go, Allison. Nice job. Congratulations. Good job. We have Daniel Hedrick from Hoover. Good job there, Daniel. Nicole Hamm from Hoover. Sandy Aisho from Roosevelt. Stephen Parrish from Roosevelt. Good job. Well done. S Sophia Ilias from Edison. There you go. Shar Fuchs from Edison Elementary. Very good. Congratulations. Dennis Lowe from Webster. There you go, Dennis. Congratulations there, Marcus Dennis. Locke good from job. United Oaks. Marcus. Jennifer Bida from Longfellow. And Brandon Horsefall from Lee Clark. There you go, Brandon. Congratulations there, Brandon. Good job. Again, we'd like to thank all of the Hazel's Heroes for the job they've done, Hazel Park Lions, Hazel Park Dairy Queen, and the Hazel Park Board of Education for sponsoring this Hazel's Heroes program for December. I'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday and a healthy new year. Join us next month.